Hello. In this tutorial for Code.org App Lab Environment, you're going to learn how to reduce the complexity of a program by abstracting out details using parameters. We are going to do this in block mode. However, if you want to learn how to do it in text mode, check out the link in the video description or click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Let's start by looking at the four functions we have here. So we have draw a small red square, which draws a small red square. Then draw a small blue square, which draws a small blue square. Then draw a big red square, which draws a big red square. And then draw a big blue square, which draws a big blue square. One thing we notice about these functions is that most of the code is the same. The only difference other than the name is the specific pen color and the length of each of these sides. So for the small ones, it's 25, and for the big ones, it's 50 pixels. There's a lot of wasted code here, and we still only have a small amount of customization. We can only have two square sizes and two colors. If we wanted to have more sizes and more colors, we'd have to write a bunch more functions. So this isn't very efficient. What we're going to do is we're going to write a general purpose function, and we're going to use parameters to abstract out the specific details. So we're going to make our code less complex, and we're going to allow more customization of the squares we draw. So let's go to our toolbox. Let's go to functions. Let's grab a function. Now here, I want to grab this function because it's got a parameter. So I'm going to put that up there. And we're going to call this one just draw a square because it's going to draw a general square. And we want to abstract out two different things, the color and the size. So we're going to have two different parameters. We'll call the first one color, and we'll hit that, and we'll call the second one size. Parameters are a special type of variable where when you call the function, you pass a value to them. So now let's start writing the function itself. So we'll go to pen color. We're going to abstract out the specific color, like red or blue. And we're going to just put in the color variable. So whatever the value is in color, which is whatever is passed to it, that's going to be the pen color. Next, we need a for loop. We're going to go to control. We're going to put our for loop there. i is equal to 0. i is less than 4. i plus plus. So it's already got the correct values. If you want to learn more about for loops, click on the link in the video description. So inside the for loop, which this one's going to go through four different times. We are going to move forward. Again, we're going to abstract out this specific value by just putting in the variable. Notice we don't have this in quotation marks. If we put in quotation marks, it would try to use the actual string size. We want whatever value is in the variable size. So in this case, we don't want it to have quotation marks. Here, red is not a variable. Red is a very specific string value, so we have it in quotation marks. After we move forward, we're going to have it turn left. So we'll take this here. The default for turn left is 90 degrees, so we can just leave that 90 in there. Or if we just wanted to get rid of it, we could have it that way. So let's look at this function. So we've got a function that'll draw a square of any color or size. Let's see how we would go about calling each of these functions. So back to function, and we're going to do a function call. So here, we'll put that at the top. Let's first try calling draw small red square. So we'll say draw small red square. Now, in the draw small red square function, there's no parameters. So we don't need any arguments inside the parentheses when we call it. And we can run it, and then it draws a small red square for us. Now, let's compare that to calling the general purpose function. Remove this. Then we'll grab this one here. The name of the function we're calling is draw square. It's got room for just one argument, so we're going to hit that. So now we've got room for two arguments. So we need to pass an argument to this parameter and this one. 
the argument I want to pass to the color parameter is green, because I want to make a green square. Again, this is a specific string value, so we're putting it in quotation marks. If we were trying to pass the value of a variable named green, then we wouldn't have the quotation marks. And size, we want to pass it a number. I'm going to pass it 35. So the string literal green will go to color, and then it'll set the pen color to the value of this, which in this call is going to be green. Then it'll go through the for loop four times, and it'll move it forward, whatever the value is in the size parameter, which in this case is 35, because the argument 35 got passed to the parameter size. Let's reset this and run it again. Reset, run, and there we go. We've got a green square, and each side is 35 pixels. So we've managed to eliminate the need for all four of these functions. We've reduced the complexity, and we've increased the ability for programmers to customize the color and size. And we did that by abstracting out the details, like the specific color and the specific size of the sides. This sample program will not meet the requirements for the create task question 3D and row six on the rubric. In this program, while the parameters do affect the output of the function, the same lines of code will run regardless of the parameters' values. To meet the requirements for question 3D and row 6 on the rubric, the value of a parameter must have an effect on which lines of code in the function run. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.